my age. <laughs> This is, this is my second review of the 1989 film, The Punisher, which was the very first motion picture adaptation of the Marvel character of The Punisher. This film starred Dolph Lundgren and the title, title role was Frank Castle, The Punisher. This movie was a reimagining of The Punisher, altering several things about The Punisher. The most notable thing they altered, of course, is what most people criticize about this film, is that is the lack of skull on his own costume, but I've watched this film several times, and I love this movie. This was a great adaptation and reimagining of the Punisher character, and Dolph Lundgren brought, my opinion, brought new depth to the um, Punisher own character. The plot is, is that the Punisher has killed 125 at the start of the film. The Punisher has killed 125 um, people. The mysterious Punisher um, character. He is wiping out the um, crime families of um, New York. New York. The Punisher has killed so many people. The Punisher has killed so many people that, that the, um, the crime the crime lords, their fathers, are not able to protect their kids, so their kids get kidnapped by the Yakuza who use this as a to take over the crime families of the, of the United States, of the United States. Um, meanwhile, um, Jake Berkowitz, portrayed by Louis Gossett Jr., Louis Gossett Jr., and his um, assistant Sam, Sam, and his um, partner Sam on the trail of um, on the trail of Frank Castle who everybody in the picture everybody in the film thinks he's dead but Gossett knows he's alive and Gossett knows that Frank Castle who was thought to be killed in a, in a, in a mob hit with, along with his family is actually is actually the mysterious Punisher character and here right here Jager shows um, the Punisher living um, in the sewer and separate from humanity. The only person he has to talk to is a drunk guy who speaks his mind. I keep forgetting his name. I keep forgetting his name. But um, yeah, that that is the plot of the um, that is the plot of the film. After the Punisher is captured, he is forced to team up with Gia, 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 Giano Frank, Giano Franco, Giano Franco, the um, crime lord leader. You know, to get his to get his son, son to get his son back and um, after this is over he disappears into the night again. Like I said, that is the story of the 1989 Punisher film. Like I said, great reimagining of the Punisher character. This film has lots of lots of action, lots of gunfights and um, knife fights in the beginning. The, sh the, the film is very, the film is very um, unintentionally funny. The mobster people are funny. There's one scene where the guy said, what do you got? And the guy's like, that kid me. He said, I got a So does Pete. And it was, um, uh, it was, um, uh, hilarious. And then, of course, you got, um, uh, then, of course, like I said, going back to the action sequences, the action sequences of violence was um, great. In the beginning, Punisher killed about, um, the Punisher killed four people, four people in different ways, in brutal fashions. Then, um, then um, when he breaks into the Yakuza place mansion and fights off the Yakuza members, another awesome fight scene. Then he fights, um, then he fights these female samurai warriors and another and another um yakuza kin kinjutsu like team kinjutsu like team of uh, the sword kick ass action and this is this is the first film in my opinion to fully to fully utilize Dolph Lundgren's martial arts skills in Rocky IV he fought as a boxer in um Masters of the Universe he was a sword fighter and in um Universal Soldier he was mostly a brawler in that um film, in that film. He to see his karate skills, his martial arts skills, utilized to their own full um, potential. And um, and I just love, I just love the depth he brought to the Punisher character. 
defeats. His family was killed in a mob hit. He fakes his death and moves down to the sewer and continues his own war on all the crimes. Then you got, um, of course, he's killed so many people that, like I said, the crime lords can't protect their daughters. So now he has to team up with the crime lords to get, can't protect their own kids. So now he has to team up with them to get their kids back. It brings the death to not only the Punisher character, but to the Mafia, who are supposed to be the bad guys of the film. So, um, so, like I said, also cool, but I love the scene where him and where Dolph Lundgren and Gossip Jr. are in, are in the um, interrogation room and Gossip Jr. is telling the Punisher that what they're going to do to him, they're going to electrocute him for all the people he's killed and the Punisher says that he kills everyone who is on YouTube. Punisher kills everyone um, who is guilty and then um, and then Brokowitz leaves him there leaves him there to um, die and then of course at the end of the film the Punisher disappears as a man gets like a scene also in the film um, this film is full of the scene where it came out in um, 